Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. You'll have to excuse my voice, sorry I'm a bit under the weather at the moment, but of course that doesn't stop the great Last War Protocol. Now, um, I've changed the way I'm going to be doing the Last War Protocol because I'm doing a more melee focused army at the minute, so I just wanted to give you an insight into the start of that, because what I normally do, I normally show off the finished product and don't really show you like the building process anymore so I thought it'd be cool to see it like from the beginning and like in the mind of me what I plan to do and uh, go forward from here so um first thing I want to talk about is my Empress Champion because I am doing a Black Templar force um it will be like the last war but it'll be run as the Black Templars so this chap right here is my custom made um, Empress Champion. Uh, we don't have one for Primaris as of yet. Maybe we'll have one soon. Who knows? Um, so I was like, do you know what? I'm going to make my own. I actually seen someone do something like this on the internet and I thought, wow, that is a great pose. Um, I'm going to definitely Blood Ravens that and that's what I did. Um, I've changed it in my own little ways. Um, as you can see, like the sword, and there's still some work to do on the sword, but it's more or less there. The sword itself is from a shop called Conversion World. These are all the other swords I uh, bought from there and everything like that. So if you want to actually get the sword, it's from Conversion World. The, the actual sword, like the bottom bit, um, is from a, a proper GW, but I just cut the blade off one of the Conversion Worlds and stuck that on there. Um, the head, as you can see, has got like the laurels on it. The shoulder pads, which I absolutely love. I think they're some of the best Black Templar 3D pads I've seen. Um, GW doesn't do this. This is from a shop called Tight Bore Designs. And we'll go into a bit more information because um, the chap who runs it printed me all these shields off for my um, boarding, uh, sorry, I should say boarding marines, what they're called. Uh, breacher shields. Breacher shields, that's what they're called. Um, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, and I'll put it as well. If you, if you want to go and click on this shop now, the links and everything are in the description of the video. Um, but he printed these off for me. He actually did me a full bag of all like different things so you can see like some of the shoulder pads in there um he put some epic stuff off just for, like the rule of cool there's a little rogal dawn in there for epic i absolutely love it i'm definitely gonna be painting these up and do something with it maybe do like um a little map area which shows like rhinos and stuff like that like this is you know like a, a little 3d map on like what these guys like looking over um but yeah this is <laughs> this is my empress champion as you can see um his head's looking into the air i put a cape on he's just he just stuck together with blue tack at the moment so i'm being a a bit precious with him um yeah but that's that's him done i actually think it turned out pretty nice i really like it um I, you know like i said i've gone for like he's looking into the air like emperor bless me kind of thing or you know he man i have the power um but yeah that is him um, and I absolutely love it. Uh, how did I make him? I know a, a lot of people have been asking me this. Well, it's two kits. It's these two kits here. So it's this Primaris kit. So as you can see, the arm belonged to him. I just cut off the sword there and the, and the helmet, of course. Uh, and his other hand here, um, I took that and I had to cut his pistol off with his hand and then attach another hand so it's, no, it's just like outstretched. I think this is um, the librarian's hand, if I'm not mistaken, like what it's like out pointing towards you. Um, so yeah, that one, and of course the captain model. Sorry, I ripped this box apart, but <laughs> and the, the the body is just the captain model there. Um, yeah, as you can see, when I open boxes, I open them like the Hulk. Um, so if I just put them to one side, if I just put my Empress Champion over here, because the next thing I want to talk about are my Breacher Marines. Um, so. I've decided to do these as Shadow Wolves, um, and this is why this one is painted purple, because this was just the test colour from it. Um, Xerxes Purple, I think this is called, if I'm not mistaken. It's from GW's um, colour range. Uh, so yeah, it, it came out nice. I think it looked really, really nice. So what what's my intention is to do is, of, co of course, these are just a normal Assault Intercessors, but just for the rule of cool, I just wanted to spice them up. So this is why I did... Um, the breacher shields and as you can see the breacher shields itself they just fit onto the hand here just just put a bit of glue there and they fit on again this is from tight bore designs um he does a million different um styles of these so all you need to do is just message him if you've got like a certain style i went with these ones with the rivets because i think they look a bit more brutal and stuff like that but again i just have to be a bit careful because um some of these are just blue tacked on but yeah these are the these are the shield designs and i think it just adds a little bit of character to them now like when they're coming down, and like you put them on the table, yeah, they they will just play as assault intercessors, but um, they have that like, little rule of cool factor um, added towards them. Um, Paid all as purple, of course, with the silver, 
the silver um, trim, and it's got to have the Space Wolf. Well, I say Space Wolf. It's a Shadow. Uh, it's a it's a Shadow Wolves logo, but it's kind of like the Space Wolf logo, but just in silver. Um, you know, some of them have got no arms <laughs> because it's all over the arms. I'm still building them at the moment. Um, this is probably one of my favourite ones. Like this guy is like. Um, running forward, it's like bang, 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 bang. Um, I'm adding all stuff like this on them, you know, like purity seals and bit by bit. So um, that's the plan now, just to just to spice them up and add a bit more character because um, you know the shields are a bit plain. I don't mean that in a bad way, but you know they haven't really got any 40k ness to them. So that's why I'm adding the purity seals. I probably have other little bits onto there, like uh, chains and stuff. You know, just to again, just to add um, that rule of cool factor. Oh, there's actually one more thing I want to show off from Type Boy Designs, because this is what he sent me as well, and I absolutely love this. I'm actually going to paint this and have it as a trophy. Um, he does Primark busts, and of course, this is Rogel Dawn, moustache included, as you can see. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that, like the base is marble, paint this as like gold, and um, just have this as maybe as my undefeated 20... Uh, 2020 champion trophy because you all know um, I was undefeated in that year because I'm the best 40k player that's ever lived um, what else is on the workbench we have of course Hospitalers I know a lot of people have been asking me about this um, I've just applied the first coat of white to these guys I've got to say airbrushing white has not been the funnest experience even though I un uh, like um, primed it with a grey it's just white white as a whole is just it's just a horrible experience for me, um, but it's a learning experience. So you know, I'm glad to learn about it. So uh, I'm doing um, hospitalers for the blade guard. I have actually got 18 blade guard altogether planned. Um, I'm doing six as astral knights. You've already seen the first three of them in a previous video. Six are going to be hospitalers, and the other six are going to be hammers of dawn. There's going to be no black templars in the blade guard right now. Um, I have other plans in the future for black templar stuff. So I just want to do other chapters. Um, at this moment in time uh, when it comes to the blade guard but really that is that is it that's what i'm up to at the moment um, i'm firing on all cylinders now um i've got some aggressors to do because i'm well actually I need, I need to buy another six aggressors no sorry not aggressors six eradicators uh, because this list i'm planning it is a melee orientated list um, but I do need some fire support and the best fire support i can think of is bringing 12 eradicators and just blasting away because at the end of the day if you are a templar it's better to bring the eradicators because he can burn things with fire faster you know burn the heretic the mutant and the witch so yeah it all works out um but yeah there is my empress champion again absolutely in love with this model um i'd love to get your thoughts and feedback and everything i've shown off if you've got any uh, questions about type more designs again the link is in the description uh, of this video i'll also post it at the top of the comment section um, as well, um, he's got a number of stores. He's got one on like Etsy and everything like that. So yeah, um, fire away and you know put all your questions towards him. But this is me done. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you now and bye bye.